We are now wait our aunties. Decided to go a different way this time. Oh, we have an obstacle. So most people in Russia live in flats, like the ones over there. But Julia's auntie lives in a chastniki, or private house. Definitely a lot more work involved in living in a house in Siberia than living in a flat. In a flat, you've obviously got hot water, you've got the pipes running directly into the flat, and you just pay your bills, your heating, your electric, as you would in any house anywhere else. But if you live in a house, or a chastniki, and then most of it's run off with coal, so Julia's auntie has to water coal sporadically that she then puts in her fire to heat the house. There's also a lot more work involved. It's really nice in the summer, she's got her own garden where she grows vegetables, but then in the winter she needs to continuously keep clearing snow, whereas if you lived in a flat, that would be done by the local council. Yo. and the wood in there. I'll show you the garden. Oh no, I'll show you the banyan. I'll show you the sauna. I wouldn't go inside to be honest, it's really really old and it's actually broken. This is where she washes because she doesn't have a bathroom inside the house. And this little bit upstairs, this used to be my little house. I used to have a dolls and used to play there and stay over. Come on, show you the garden and the toilet. This is the garden. It's pretty big. There you see all the neighbours. My auntie restored like some outside of the house she really needs to do the roof but she can't afford it but it's pretty the state of it is pretty bad this is the toilet
А теперь ты. Пока-пока. Давай, пока. Legs like this, face like that. She is a victorious secret model. Так, так, печку, а, так, и да? а тут пять минут, 
Когда все готово-то. Больше не останови. Вот их надо снимать. Я думаю, что скоро микрофон сломается.